We know that calcium is important for strong bones and a healthy heart, but there are times where your body produces so much calcium that it's not good for you. A condition called hyperparathyroidism can cause the levels of calcium in your blood and tissues to be too high, and it has nothing to do with how much milk you drink. In your neck, there are four small glands, each about the size of a grain of rice, called parathyroid glands. They make a hormone that helps keep the calcium in your body at just the right level. But when even one of those glands makes too much of the hormone, the result is hyperparathyroidism. Dr. Judith Milstead, an otolaryngologist with Lake Ear, Nose, Throat, and Facial Plastic Surgery explained how these tiny glands can make such a big impact on our health. Parathyroid glands are four little glands that are behind the thyroid. They regulate the calcium. And the, the way you know you have it is just with a blood test. And there's no other symptoms usually. Now if, it, if the calcium gets very high, then you can get muscle cramps and um, weakness, little bitty things that you write off to old age or some other out of shape or things like that. And you don't even know you have it. And then if we can identify the bad parathyroid gland and take it out only and leave the rest of them, then the quality of life gets much better. If you have too high of a blood calcium, it makes the muscles ready twitching and it can actually give you heart problems and if it gets really, really high, you can become comatose. I've had to do several emergency operations because a person was in a coma to, to get them out. It's more common than you would think, um, because, but it's asymptomatic unless it's severe. Most of the people come in, I'm fine, why do I need an operation? I try to answer them the best I can. You want your bones to be there as long as you live and not broken. What the parathyroid does is secrete a hormone that mobilizes the calcium from the bones into the bloodstream. So you want that calcium to stay in your bones and keep them nice and strong. One gentleman came in and he he was walking in like this, and I was going, what's up? He says, I, I couldn't do that before the operation. <laughs> so wow. he said, I can lift my hands over my head. So that was real gratifying to have somebody really improve that much. <laughs> there are two kinds of hyperparathyroidism, primary and secondary. With primary hyperparathyroidism, your condition is caused by or starts in at least one of the parathyroid glands naturally making too much of the hormone that keeps your calcium levels in balance. With secondary hyperparathyroidism, some other disease or condition is to blame. The common trigger with both is low calcium levels in the blood, which prompts your body to release too much parathyroid hormone almost immediately. About 100,000 people in the United States develop this condition each year. People between the ages of 50 and 60 and women are the most likely to have hyperparathyroidism. For more information on this story, as well as links to the specialists at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat and Facial Plastic Surgery, please click on the Calcium Concern Story Link icon on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.